So minimal access is a, a generic word. It's an umbrella term for how you access body compartments without the need to traditional the traditional incision. So minimum access for the knee would be arthroscopy, minimum access for the stomach or abdomen would be laparoscopy. But in my uh, part of the world, uh, minimum access to the chest is known as thoracoscopy. So normally the thoracoscope has a camera attached to it and you then do what you have to do but not looking directly into the chest but you have to look at a camera and that's known as a, at a video screen and that's known as VATS, Video Assisted Thoracoscope Surgery. And this is something now that we've introduced in uh, this part of the world. I'm routinely doing VATS surgery and I do that for a variety of conditions. Conditions that either way you need to diagnose what the problem is or conditions where you go in and you treat a condition within the chest. So what some of the common uh, the most common procedure I've done here is to provide a biopsy for my physician colleagues of the lung but without the need to open the chest up. So I can do that using a camera which is only 10 millimeters or a camera which is 5 millimeters and the, and the patient gets discharged typically um, after a few days rather than uh, several days and the reason for that is that they have less pain, there is no need to put an epidural they mobilize quicker, they go, to work, they go to work a lot faster as well, and the incision is a lot more cosmetically appealing. Um, you can also access the heart, the heart using minimal invasive. Um, this is something that I trained to do in, in England, where I lived for most of my life. Uh, you can typically the, the valves that you can repair, which is more relevant to this part of the world, are the mitral valves. Um, Africa is a hot spot for rheumatic heart valve disease. The mitral valve tends to be affected more than the others. And because our population body habitus tends to be nice and slim, I feel this is something that should be looked at very aggressively because there is, uh, it comes with a promise that patients go home quicker, they mobilize faster and they're back to their daily activities a lot faster. And that has a big implication on our national waiting lists. Of course, to upskill the team, there requires an investment, an investment in CAPEX, an investment in operational topics, uh, or costs as well as an investment in human uh, capacity, resource capacity. However, there are well established models around the world where this has been put in place and it's actually provided a really good return on investment. Um, Nairobi is a hub already. Nairobi is a hub for Sub-Saharan Africa. We have a lot of specialist care which is being delivered here. It makes all the sense in the world to have Nairobi as uh, a place where the investment should take place and certainly at Kenyatta we already we have some very very good surgeons with good